What's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel. We feel truly, of course, Machiavelli. And today we're back with the first episode of our new series, Stranger Veil slash Life with the Pearsons ELC. <laughs> Okay, so we are back, and guys, I'm so excited because you guys have been asking me, when are you bringing Life with the Pearson back? And I wanted to, like, do a pack dedicated to Life with the Pearson because I've never done that before. And Stranger Things, Stranger Veil just seems like a fun pack, and it'd be something fun to do. And if I get bored of Stranger Things, I can just stick to doing strictly Life with the Pearson. So this will be kind of like a Stranger Things slash Life with the Pearson type of thing. And um, yeah, hopefully you're excited. If you're new to my channel, my name is Machiavelli on YouTube, but I go by Malik. Um, or you can go by Mac, or you call me Mac if you want to. I am a simmer, of course. I make speed builds, and I do LPs here and there. Um, so anyway, so today we're going to be doing, um, like I said, Stranger Veil. I'm just repeating myself at this point. So, um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So let's meet our Sim. Also, if you have not, if you're new to this and you have not watched Life with the Pearsons, you don't need to. Um, well, of course, we'll be seeing his parents and his grandparents. Actually, I think their grandparents passed away, but we'll be seeing his parents and his siblings throughout the LP, but you don't really know the boy story of that. And John Luca himself doesn't have that big of a backstory because every time I tried to play with him, my something happened with the game and it got glitched. So we never really had that much of a childhood slash teenagehood slash teenage yeah teenagehood um if that's a word i have no clue slash he now he's a young adult so he doesn't really have a backstory so you don't really need to go back and watch it if you want to there is four seasons <laughs> good luck with that but if you don't it's all good um but yeah so this is our main sim over here john luca pearson oh geez look at him he's so grown up um last time you saw him he was a teenager but now he is a young adult um sorry for everyone who's wondering what happens my game got my, my 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 mods broke and then it aged up all my sims without me knowing it was a mess so anyways i wanted to wait until we're not starting over this yeah this is john luca pearson um his backstory uh doesn't have a big backstory like i normally have but his backstory is pretty much simple um John Luca grew up at a very young age. Um, growing up, he was um, it was just him and his mom, Kalia. Kalia was a teenager, teenage, teenage parent to say, um, and pretty much his dad neglected him all through his childhood. His dad never believed that he was his kid, um, and so pretty much, um, and then also with his grandparents, his grandparents didn't really want Kalia to have a kid at such a young, such a young age because you know. Their whole family had this generate. I don't know. This whole the whole Pearson legacy has at least one sim that has a kid at, at a, a teenager. I don't do it on purpose. It just you know whiskey woohoo, whiskey woohoo does its thing. But yeah, so pretty much all the Pearsons. There's just like this legacy of having a kid at a teenage age, and um. John Luca's grandparent didn't want that for Kalia. Um, well, Kalia's dad didn't want that for Kalia. So Kalia, so she wanted, you know, to give John Luca up or some type of abortion. She just didn't want, you know, Kalia being a mom at a young age. And Kalia wasn't about that. So they got into a bunch of fights until Kalia decided to run away. She was a runaway teen mom. And they ended up moving to place to place. They, they moved into like an apart into like a basement apartment at one point, then a really broken down apartment, then a house and another house. They just kept on moving. So he never really had a stable home growing up. And then while they were moving, um, <laughs> his mom ended up getting pregnant with his uncle. Yeah, that happened. And so he ended up having, at like a young age, he ended up having to step up to the plate and taking care of his little sisters because his mom had to be out working. And so he was he was always a grown up. Even as a ten year old, he was cooking dinner and making sandwiches for his um, toddler sisters those twins do so he was always been a grown-up and so he never really had the chance to, you know go out and have fun and he had never really phased him growing up you know he never really was that felt that bad seeing all his friends go outside and play well he couldn't because he had to stay home and watch his sisters so it never really phased him that much until he became a teenager and realized how much stuff he missed out on and how much all the goofy times he could have had with his friends and it really affected him in that sense so he kind of in a sense pulled away from his family because he 
he, he almost say he blames them, but he kind of blames his mom for the burden of growing up early. Like, he doesn't hate his mom, you know, but it's kind of like, wow, I didn't have a childhood, you know? It sucks to suck, and he kind of blames everybody, but then he does at the same time because he loves his family, you know? He can't get, like, he wants to be mad at somebody, but he doesn't know to be mad who to be mad at because, again, if he gets mad at his mom, he loves his mom, so he feels like he's being... He's in wrong, you know, that's his mother. He can't be mad at his mother and he can't be mad at his sisters. You know, he loves his sisters. So he's just like, he's in a standstill right now. He has all this anger, all this bent up of, wow, I didn't have a childhood, but don't have no clue who to like to blame. And he has, and like, all he can do right now is blame himself, you know? And so, he, so after he, um, so after that, so pretty much what happened, um, was he moved out with his sisters because they went to like a fancy school in San Mashuno, but then my mods, mods got broken and so he aged up and so pretty much he lived in that San Mashuno for a little bit, but then once he became a young adult, he shipped his sisters back home with the, um, his mom and moved out. He moved to the farthest place he could think of, which was Delso Valley, and it was fun for the, for like the first year. It was chill he got his independence he was by himself but Desil Valley never felt like you know his home it never felt like some place where he wanted to like put down roots the one thing that he wants is roots he never had a stable household growing up and of course that affected him too so he always wanted a house that he could just stay in you know move in there and call it his final house but of course he doesn't have the money for that so he's renting right now um, an apartment so um, like I said, Delso Valley just wasn't the place for him and he never really wanted to sit down roots here. But then, um, there was an ad in the newspaper and no, all, there was an ad on TV. It's just going around about this place called Strangerville that he never heard of before and how weird things were going on there. And even though the weird thing was happening, when he saw like the overview of like the world and how the plants, not, not the plants, but like the, the world looked and how the landscaping was and how the, it looked like a small town community, he just felt drawn to it. He just felt like that was his calling even though there was some weird stuff going down in strangerville he just felt like that's the place that he wanted to reside in and that's where we're gonna move to so right now um we are living at um his house in delta valley he's paying his last thing of rent before he moves out we're gonna go ahead and move to strangerville I, i'm so excited for this i'm so excited for him and his journey he uh oh yeah this is what he looks like this is john luke I, I have the hair that came with um strangerville i also have the t-shirt that came with strangerville that's pretty much it i also have some other stuff throughout the pack um throughout this game you'll see but yeah this is John Luca in the flesh he's growing on his hair honestly he's been I don't say he's been lazy with this life. like he doesn't have a job or anything he just doesn't know you want it I think he's definitely thinking of the military uh, I think that's something that excites him you know helping people he's always been a helpful sim you know he's always been a caring person like he can't fight that it's in his nature to like care about people so I think the military will be fun for him to do but um first thing we need to do is we need to move so we're gonna go ahead and um, where's it called again? Oh, before I even move, let me introduce you to him better. So this is John Luca, John Luca Pearson. So that's what he looks like, as you can see. Um, his skills are pretty minimal. Like I said, I didn't really get to play with him that much, so he doesn't really have a boost in any skills. Um, I don't even know what like grade level he he graduated at. I don't even remember. I think it was like a B, maybe a C. I don't remember. I didn't get to play with him that much, sadly. Um, so he is a bookworm, he's creative, and he's a good person. He's just generally a good person. He is, he was always, like I said, growing up, he never really had enough time to go outside and play, so he pretty much stayed at home, taking care of his sisters and just read books. He was a huge book person. He, he dreamed about friends and worlds that he could adventure to when he was bored so he was definitely a bookworm and when he got to a teenager he started becoming very creative he actually started writing books um because of how much he loves books but then he kind of stopped it was i don't know he just stopped it just i don't know what happened i guess something happened in his life and he just didn't feel like writing books anymore but he was very creative he was a very big writer when he was um in a uh, teenager and then he became good he's just a good person like i couldn't think of any other trait than good he honestly is a great big brother he's a great son um he was such a good child growing up he was a top not he was a happy toddler he was such a good toddler growing up honestly so i just thought like, he would be good so he has a responsibility trait and he's a muser. I have no clue why I chose this one for him. I don't know what he wants right now. It's music. I have no clue what it is but that he wants to do in his life yet. We're trying to figure it out. Um, I want to see what other aspirations we have. I think there's one that came with um, 
location yes there's this one that seems cool we'll do that one for this for the lp at least so strangerville mystery okay so we're gonna do that so we need to talk about strangerville with five people we need to buy what's that grow from the coral shop um examines examine sealed door at secret lab okay that seems legit okay so anyways um now that you know about john luca <laughs> we can officially go you guys you don't need a house a house tour of his old apartment um so we're going to move households he's pretty broke <laughs> like i said he doesn't have a job um he's just been working part-time here and there doing odd jobs to get by he doesn't i don't know he just doesn't he hasn't found anything he hasn't found his calling yet but i think i think I think I think he just I just said I think four times wow um but I think he would be great in the military so he is gonna go ahead and move to Strangerville which is kind of awesome um super excited so can he even afford any of these <laughs> I don't think so um how much money does he have hold up let me just check so we need f okay so we have one thousand dollars left in that place and in this place um we can't afford this place um so I guess it's just the mini trailer for us, which is fine. We'll live and we have a thousand dollars to spend. So we're going to go ahead and live in this mini trailer. So there we go. What is it called? I have no clue what it's called. The perfect house. I have no clue what the, hell the thing is called. So anyways, so yeah, we're moving. I'm super excited about this, um, this series. Hopefully you guys are excited to play with Life with the Pearsons again. I know it's been like a hot minute since I actually fully on played with them, but I'm super excited. So... Here we go. So, Strangerville. Welcome to Strangerville. The only thing stranger than the people is the floral. That's, that's nice. Um, soon after moving in, the town slogan is starting to make sense to you. Okay, I'm not going to read all this. Hold up. Um, read it if you want to, but I don't read this type of stuff because I just feel like it's just reminders. Um, try asking people. Okay. So anyways, here we go. So let's go. Wow. What a tiny house. <laughs> I love tiny houses, by the way. I'm going to see how big the lot is. Oh, it's like a, it's like a 12 by, yeah, no, 15 by 20 lot. Okay. Not bad. So anyways, this is our apartment. So let's see. We have, ooh, we have a mechanical table. We have a gate to walk in, a mailbox. Um, this is the bathroom. Very basic. A kitchen laptop oh that's awesome we actually have laptops hold up oh my god you're kidding me we can't like can we like put them in we can put them in the inventory okay hold up let me see wait can we like wait do we have to oh i see so we can bring them with us but we have to sit somewhere oh that sucks we can't sit on the ground and use them you know it's fine though we can it's portable so i'm gonna keep the laptop in there what is this though um purchase bugs now, why would I want to? Okay, you know what? Anyways, this is just weird. <laughs> Strangerville, right? So I'm going to bring the laptop with us. How much does the laptop cost? 800 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. But anyway, so yeah, this is our house. Um, First thing I want to do is I want to buy a better bed. I know this, like this wallpaper is, is a bit much for me. I might, you know what? I probably can do a renovation after I'm done this, um, this part. Um, but first thing I want to do though is let's get you a job. So we're going to go ahead and and um sign up john luca for a job he is going to do the military career because you know that's just a calling for him right now he's like why not yeah you see i need some money he's thinking about it he needs some simoleons he needs to like pay some bills yeah a thousand dollars is a lot but not enough so we're gonna go ahead and gardening military okay awesome so we're gonna do the military career which is cool um so oh wait did he what, 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 hold up no what's this um work assignment should john luca um get a jump start yeah sure why not so we are on level two oh, okay so he was a b student in school okay that's good um so we are level two in the military career so he needs to get his fitness up and he needs to run on the treadmill okay we can do that um i do want to go ahead and plop oh with this hold up let me see the weather in this place so it seems like I have no clue if it's going to snow. Oh, no, it's not going to snow at all. Um, it's winter right now. So, yeah, I guess it's not going to be a, a like a winter winter, but that's totally fine with me. Um, I, they say that the weather is going to be strange, but let's actually look at this air. Oh, that is so cool. We have the plain sight right in our backyard, but let's see what else we have. We have whatever that is. 
that's interesting um is there anything else Ooh, ooh, take a photo sure why not so we'll go take a photo of that and then wow there's a bunch of things we can take a photo of take a photo we can't go back there okay but is there like any oh yeah there is what the heck are you like what is this okay it's just i think it's just dirt <laughs> I'm just I'm reading way too I see I think stranger thing I think everything's strange but I think I'm just reading in way too much into this um is this the alleyway that I think of I love this I wish this was open world oh wait what's this travel I don't actually want to travel I just why did I click that I don't want to travel yet I'm still doing some stuff on our lot but this is a cool neighborhood um I love the Times Square so we can actually come over here and have barbecues and some other good stuff. Sit down. Um, we can go ahead and take some. Oh wait, what's this? Um, you're already taking a photo. Okay, true. Is there anything else we can take a photo of? I think that's it. So there's a house there. There's a house there. So let's just go see the people in this neighborhood. Okay, so we have um, Noel. Is that Noel or Noel? Nolan, 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 home street neighbor, Nolan Walls, um, you are an adult, what is good, um, military introduction, so who else over here, we have, um, Kelsey Winters, oh, okay, that's cool, I like your last name, Winters, anyways, but that's cool, she's a scientist, and we have a fake scientist, or what is this, a fake military person, who knows, maybe he's dressed up in house as Halloween, I have no clue, okay, yes, the first, she, isn't she from the, Yes, she is from the what's called the trailer. Try talking to Jess. Yes, okay. Oh, isn't that me? Me at like this used to be me when I have to go like go to school in the morning. I'm like putting a fake smile on my face, but I want to go home. Uh, that's cute. That's hella cute. She's beautiful. Anyways, we're gonna go here and talk to this girl. Oh yes, get your crayon. Get your crayon. <laughs> I missed you, Dragon. Get your crayon. Get your crayon. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and talk to, or try to talk to Jess and her weird self. Um, and while we do that, let's see who else we have in this neighborhood. So we have, um, you're nobody. Well, you're not nobody, but you know, you're not anything important. And you are someone. Oh, we have a. Oh, we have a goth up in here. I forgot that the goth had kids. By the way, yeah, this is not a new save file. This is an old save file. I've probably had the save file for like <laughs> years now. So. Oh, so com conspiracy theorist. That's cool. Oh yes, where's that shop? I'm pretty sure there's like a shop back somewhere here. Um, where are we at? John Luca, come on. Oh, I should have probably got you an umbrella. Oops, 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 a daisy. But there should be like a shop. Wait, can you come back here? No, you can't. Okay, but there should be a shop where you can buy some things. Um. Okay, let's go see if John Luca's gonna try and talk to this person. This crazy person. God damn it. Oh jeez. Yes, yeah, snap that neck. Snap oh break that back. Snap 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 out of it. Yes, come on, Jess. Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay. Um who do you think you are? Um try talking to Jess again. Come on, we're gonna be friends with your weird ass. Okay, okay, true, 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 true. Um Let's try talking to you one more time. Bonnie Wicks. <laughs> okay, you snap that neck. Oh jeez. If that ain't me, um. Oh jeez, what's that? What's that scary person? Um, not scary person, but that that um that horror person, like that that has the smiley face, not the Joker, but um. Oh, okay, yeah, she's just gonna break her. We're trying to help you. Oh, it's Paige. What's good, Paige? Um, we're trying to help your ass, but you're gonna be disrespectful like that. You know what? That's fine. Do you? Okay. Um, true. So anyways, um, Jess, it was fun, but, um, yeah. Oh, we do, we're actually getting some things over here. Let's talk to Jess. Maybe if we're lucky, you can snap, snap her out of it. But, um, let's see what else we have. Let's see who else we have. Is this the guy we were just, uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, nobody else that is, oh, we have another military person, I guess, but we're going to go ahead. When do we work? We're working 17 hours. So we're going to go ahead and head off to a gym um and go get some of our skills up we need to run a treadmill and we need to get our fitness level up so um deuces to you plus it's pretty rainy um i have no clue if there is a gym here anyways if not then oops um there's a bar 
there's that but there isn't no gym so i'm gonna head off back to delso valley just to work out or should we actually go explore for a bit a minute we'll go to delso valley she needs to get that his gym skill up anyways so we'll go by ourselves um but i kind of curious i wonder if we, i wonder if we can snap jess out of it Ooh, I want to see. I have no clue what's gonna happen. I have no clue about this pack. I haven't really watched any videos. All I pack, only thing I've watched about this pack is what the world looks like and um, some Q and A's on on Twitter. That's pretty much it. That's all I know. So I have no clue how anything works. Um, I know we have to go to that secret lab though, but we're gonna go ahead and run up, walk, walk on the treadmill. Probably gonna go ahead and get him an umbrella. Really needs it. Um, skill wise, he's actually doing pretty fine. Um, he's gonna be tired in a few minutes, um, but I want him to go out tonight. <sighs> Darn it, come on, guy. You got a bushy, bushy. Okay, awesome. So, we got, so I guess we did that. Um, we have a few medals, that's cool. Um, but what's this? Photo, um, we'll sell you because we don't need you. Um, okay, let's keep on doing this. We'll talk to whoever this is. Are we actually talking to her? Hold up. You a celebrity and we're actually talking to you like it's nothing? Okay, ask about day. Why not? You seem chill. Wait, don't we know you? Who's you? Oh, yes. It's, um, it's Roxanne's daughter. Um, are you married? You should be. Yeah. No, you don't. But you have a kid with some. I think he has, she has a kid with um one of his siblings or cousins, should I say. Um, so we have whatever your name is. You're a fan. So anyways, we're going to continue doing this. We're so close. Come on. I'll just get to level three. And we're out of here. I get it. You're smelly. Okay, whatever. We'll go take a shower. We'll finish this in the morning. I'll have him go jog. We'll go over here. Take a quick shower. We actually are a bit... Actually, yeah, we're not tired at all. Um, we're just smelly, so... Oops. My bad. I just hit something off. So, yeah, let's come downstairs and go take a quick shower. I am super excited about this. By the way, guys, if my mic is being a little bit buggy, I apologize. Um, I'm in the process of fixing it slash getting a new mic. I don't know. I have so much memory with this mic, so I'm trying to fix it at this moment. But we'll see what happens in the future. So, anyways, who's this? Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, it's you. If it's, yeah, I don't like you. He he bullied. Um, he bullied. Um, he was ex best friends with, um, with John Luca's um uncle, who's now dead. You know what? I should probably show you the family tree. Whoever is new. So this is the family tree. Like I said, not new to save file. Um, this is the family tree of the Pearsons. So we have you know, Devin. This is this is his great grandfather, Devin, and then his his then his grandfather um marcello and then his mother kalia and that's john luca so we're at generation one two three we're at generation four um wow yeah this is this is his dad luca and then awkwardness is so luca and then um this is his step well no this is luca wait who's Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, and John Luca had like a crush on one of these two. Oh, good memories. But anyways, um, wait, they had a baby. They're both elders. Anyways, moving on. They can take care of the kid. So yeah, John Luca has two siblings, which is um Lyrica. Well, he has multiple siblings, as you can see, multiple. But um, um, these two that he raised are these two, which is Lyrica and Flora and their parent is Stefan and Stefan's brother is actually um is actually Luca so yeah anyway she double dipped in the family so we're moving on that's just a bit of the family tree if you guys want a more extended look at it then let me know but we're gonna go ahead and head back over to S Strangeville and I guess we can go and head over to that laboratory and see what's up there I'm very curious so should we go to the plane site Wait, is this actually somebody living here? I have no clue. We'll go check out this plane site for a quick second because I'm very curious. Then we'll go to the lab and we'll call it a day. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited, y'all. You don't know how excited I am for this. I, I'm, I'm shaken. I'm not shaken, but like, I just miss this family so much. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's okay. We're moved. We are here at this site. Um, I have no clue what to do here, so we're going to go here. What's this say? play in the rain no oh there's a door right here can we like okay knock on door so i guess somebody lives here 
Oh, that's cool. It goes all the way downstairs. That is cool. So I guess somebody does live here. Oh, it's a bunker. That is so it's an underground bunker. Who are you, my dude? Um, George. George, what's up? Talk about yeah, we need to talk about that anyway. So go talk about Smallville. He has a laptop. Um, I can't wait for modders to like make some more fancy laptops that are portable. It's gonna be amazing. Um <gasps> Sorry, I just saw a new bathtub, but it's not that looking too good. But it looks cool, though. It's like a bathtub shower thing. That's actually really cool. I like it. Um, So I've heard that some kind of secret lab in the crater, I'm convinced, is something to do with the weird swarms that caused my plane, that caused my plane to crash. So you literally crashed the plane and built underground. You built all of this, like kudos to you, honestly, for making this. Can we, I'm pretty sure, I have no clue if we can make this. Um, this is actually a kudos to like this person for doing this because if I crashed the plane and I survived, I would've just went home. <laughs> this man actually built a, like a bunker. Kudos to you. But anyways, we're gonna use your bathroom because why not? Um, do we need anything else? No, but this was fun to talk about. I have no clue else to like discover here than this, but this is cool. Um, it's neat. Probably smells like you know what, but you know what? It's cool though. Um, what else should we go ahead and do? I think that's pretty much it for here. That was cool to search out. Um, but we're probably gonna go ahead and head over to the lab. I'm curious to see how that works. Um, wait, can you actually go back to, like, the city? I know there's, like, a shop here, right? There's this, um... Oh, yeah, this is our house. But I know there's a, there's a shop around here somewhere. Um, where the heck is it? Where is it? Is he over here? No, it's not over there. It's not over there. I wonder where it is. The guy from the trailer works there. Let's see. From what I remember in the trailer, um, I actually don't remember anything, so I have no clue where it is, but there should be like this little shop somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. No, oh, he is working here. Okay, awesome. So, Erin, 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 E, Erin, or or Orwin, Orwin. Who wants to your name right? Well, let's go over here and um, talk about that a bit. And we can haggle, sure, why not? Let's see what other good stuff he has for us. I actually want a screenshot of this. This is actually really cool. What, is he beeping? Anyways, though, I think I would want to work here. Wouldn't that be fun just sitting here talking about aliens? I think that would be a great job. So anyways, let's walk over here. And I really need to get this guy an umbrella. I feel so bad. He's just walking out in the rain. Um, What's this? So... You, you drive a hard bargain, tell you what, I'll give you 25% off on anything. Awesome, thank you, Erwin. You know what, we're gonna be friends with you. You gave us 25% off, I can be friends with you. Um, discount objects, Ramlo you see what Can you buy laptops here? Please, you can buy laptops here, please, please, for a discount on price? Wouldn't that be great? Um, let's see, no, you can't. <laughs> oh, but there's some other objects, so you have purple, love, what the heck is that? Beacon? I have no clue what all this is, but looks interesting. Um, okay, um, what should we buy? Uh, I think we're gonna buy that, because it's a pretty good deal. Um, it's an alien. What's this? Wanky, wonderful, carnival, sock, alien? Well, that's something. Um, and then I guess we can buy a purple one. Why not? He's giving us 25% off, so I guess we can get- Oh wait, 25% off? Don't they normally just give us 15? 25%? Or maybe they normally give 25%, I just remembered. I just realized that. I was wondering why that seems to look such a lot. 25%? Um, and then we have posters that I don't really want. Oh, that looks cool. It's a book. We can read that. And then there's another book we can read, I guess. Um, sure. $217. Why not? Thank you, my dude. But let's talk to you up. Um, talk about Strangerville. Um... Flatter, be nice to him. We can ask about his career. Talk about handiness skill. Why not? So we're gonna talk for a little bit. Um, what else do we need to do? So we need to. Okay, perfect. We bought something from the shop. We need to explore lab, and we need to talk about Strangerville to five other people. 
Let's see if I can find anybody else out here. We really need to get this kind of problem. <laughs> um, but let's see. Is it going to be raining all week? Yeah, we should probably go home and get that umbrella real quick. Um, but let's see. Um, no, we got you. You're, you're all basic people. I want somebody new, you know? Bring Jess. Well, no, Jess, Jess is crazy, so she ain't going to work. But bring back, like, somebody from the military. Come on now. Um... Okay, whatevs. Um, so I guess that's it. But we're gonna go ahead and let's see what else we need to do. We can do conversation with him. We can um, flatter some more. And then we're gonna go home and get this guy an umbrella. <laughs> we're gonna go home by ourselves. Oh yeah, he also, he has a girlfriend. He doesn't like her that much though. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, I forgot about her because I don't know, he just doesn't like her, you know? It was kind of like a quote unquote pity, yes. Um, she liked him a lot and he feel like, you know what, she likes me so much, I should probably give her a chance. And they dated throughout high school, but he never truly actually developed feelings for her, you know, like he did with one of the, one of his other crushes. Um, so right now he's just like, he's just holding it off. He like, he needs to break up with her, but it's just, it's just not happening. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do, what else do we have in here? So we have, okay, yeah, we bought that. Some other cool things. What's this? metal display that oh okay oh, can we have this i want this <laughs> okay i want that i'm gonna put it in our inventory um because he has some metals and it's cool that we can display it in that but i need to go ahead and buy um where is it it's for a hundred bucks i can't i can't remember where it is though oh here it is umbrella thing okay we need an umbrella i'll put you right I'll put you in the washroom. I'll put you right here for now. I'm gonna give this house a makeover Because um, it definitely needs one. So we're gonna take an umbrella and Do that. We also need some money first, but it's okay I'll, I'll do whatever we can with the little money we have. Is there anything in the neighborhood? We can actually get before I end off this part real quick um, Some extra moolah Doesn't look like it. Um, we can't take a photo of that. Um, actually, you know what we're gonna do before we end up this part? I'll play for like five more minutes because I'm enjoying it so much. Let's head off back to the town and see if we can finish off at least half of this aspiration. Ooh, perfect, you. Um, let's go over here and give him, let's talk about Strangerville. And then we can give you, what's this? A military introduction. I think it's just like, uh, oh, look at that. I thought that was patchy, but no, it's some other screen. Are you from the trailer? Yes, you're from this trailer. Okay, what's your name? Ted, Ted, what, Ted's Rose, what, Ted Rosewell, awesome, welcome Mr. Rosewell, and who else we have over here, we have Alice, Alice is actually really pretty, yeah, Alice is pretty, but anyways, um, let's go ahead and go talk to these people, um, maybe we can go ahead and talk to him, no, we're not gonna talk to him, we, we, we already dealt with Jess today, <laughs> we don't have to deal with anybody else, who else, we, we have some other people down here, Sorry, I'm just curious to see who else they put, who they brought in. So we have another conspiracy thing a person. Yeah, Alexis Polker. I can't pronounce your last name. I am sorry. Um, you're Alexis something. Who's that? Oh, it's our aunt. Um, but anyways, who else is this? Pause. We have... Oh, you're a land grab. You rich. Um, but come on, we're talking to this guy. Let's hurry it up. Take out your umbrella, my- well, actually, you know, the rain subsided. Um, what's this? I've heard there's some kind of secret lab. Okay, awesome. But we're gonna go ahead and end off this part here. He looks so pissed off. He's like, why is everybody telling me the same goddamn thing? But we're gonna end off this part here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next part. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Bye, guys. Deuces. Say later, Jude. <laughs> Say later, Jude. No, John Luca. Bye, guys. Oh, no, I think I've lost my mind.